That doesn't matter. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the dollar saloons. It makes them sound. It sound. They sound like they're all out for the money. But I'm not sure that's really true. Maybe it's like selfish. Well, it's like it's a show with like the self image of like well status and popularity. Yeah, I suppose. Or at least. I feel like. Yeah. Well, it definitely they have a worldly view because they only believe in the world. And money is like a worldly. Okay. Yeah, and there's like have a lot more value to money than Christians. Yeah. So um, we talked about uh, naturalism, humanism, and, and the characteristics of all of that. Man, not God, is the center of all things. There's nothing outside of the physical world. There is no supernatural, so there's no God, so there's no moral absolutes. Although it is still true uh, for atheists, as we talked about last year, that oftentimes people don't uh, it, it, we, can, we don't know what they believe by their actions. We know what they believe by their reactions. And so when they're cut off by someone in traffic or when they're mistreated by somebody, they, they have, um, they have a, uh, a, a adverse action or, um, reaction to that. Uh, so, um, yeah, the material world is all that it is and, and uh, all that is. And, um, and there is no such thing as salvation. If there's going to be salvation, we're going to make it happen because there's nothing outside of this uh, universe. Uh, and they believe that we can make this world perfect. Now, we haven't in all of these thousands of years, right? But they believe it is possible. Um, and one's value system is based on one's needs. Uh, and then actualizing human potential is the key to keep the progress. Again, we are the answer uh, to everything. Humanists are not bound by the accepted answers to the real questions of life. They are free to discover their own answers. And, and someone else's answers might be different than you, and that's just fine. This, and then that, that's the whole uh, thing of that, that, that may be true for you, but it's not true for me. If it's really true, if it's a truth, it's true for everyone. There are other things that can be, um, you know, true for you and not for me. You know, I, I prefer chocolate to vanilla, and that's true for me. That might not be true for you. But we're talking about truth claims, and truth claims are true for all people at all times and all places. That's going back to last year. Um, knowledge is based on reason and proof, not on faith. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with reason, right? There's nothing wrong with truth, but they, they don't allow anything outside uh, of that. Uh, emphasizing, uh, emphasizes bringing out the best in people through scientific inquiry, uh, individual freedom, using human reason, uh, tolerance, and self uh, I'm going to through these because... Okay, this is where we're starting now. Did I put this one up before yesterday? Yes. Okay. No, oh, I don't remember. Not fully, but so the atheistic worldview. So the so this the circle is meant to be um, how how we make um, sense of the world, uh, and so you see over here that it bounces around a lot, right? It is disordered. And, and what it's saying is that that's because God is out of the, uh, out of the picture. And it, it's, it's kind of like a math problem that only has one right answer. If you don't do what you need to do to get that answer, you'll never get the right answer. If you say, no, 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 it can't have a two in it. Well, what if the answer has a two in it? Then you're never going to to get that answer, uh, that correct answer. So they, they um, believe things and they um, postulate things uh, and, and say that they're true. But if they refuse to believe in God, they're never going to get the whole truth. Um, and their lives are never going to be ordered the way God would, uh, would provide. So we've got this kind of a little bit more... Um, random uh, circle, and then we've got this uh, Christian worldview where God is in the picture, and we have hope, uh, and God is the one who orders our days uh, and, um, and is in, in control of everything. So now we're going to move on to 
how does the humanist, the naturalist, answer the five life questions? So the first question is, from where did we uh, come? Um, and the answer to that um, uh, is that um, the universe created itself. Um, it exploded out of nothing. But um, as uh, what was uh, Billy Andrews famously saying in The Sound of Music, nothing comes from nothing. Nothing ever could. Um, and so they, they postulate some little teeny tiny thing. But as we talked about last year, it's, it's just as hard to get some molecule to, to appear than it is to get a car to appear out of nothing. So, um, uh, and, and, and we know from the science that the universe exploded into being out of nothing. That's what the science says. So who sparked that? Because there, before that, there was nothing. Uh, and they would say literally nothing. Of course, we would say, yes, there was something. There was God in the beginning. God. So, um, so we are just the result of random, impersonal, undirected forces, even though we are so complex and put together fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, and, but, but there is no creator, uh, no transcendent creator God um, that, that created us according to the naturalist, the humans. And humanity is the result of purposeless evolution as is everything else, this development over however many years they believe. And all of that began with the Big Bang. Now, I believe there was a Big Bang. I believe God created the Big Bang, right? Uh, and I don't know how it worked after that. All I know is that, Jesus, that God created it and he has superintended it uh, for, since, since that time. Next question is, why is there such a mess in the world? And everybody, everybody recognizes, Nike recognizes that. Nobody says, oh, it's all good. Nothing's going wrong. Everybody realizes. Now, some people will, will say, well, it's so bad because the Christians, you know, refuse to believe the truth or something like that. But everybody would say that this, this world is not right. This world is messed up, uh, and uh, that's obvious. Just just look at the headlines every day, and you'll get depressed, but uh, but you'll see that that uh, the world is a mess. Um, and and so, as a believer, we believe that um, that um, uh, well, excuse me, uh, the naturalist believes that people are inherently good. We're good people who sometimes do bad things. That's not what the Bible teaches us. Uh, the heart of man is desperately evil and wicked above all things. Who can know it? Uh, and uh, But they believe that we're basic, basically good people. We mess up sometimes, but, uh, but we're basically good. Um, and, uh, and, but, we, but people uh, need to be fully actualized. Um, they need to actualize their human potential, uh, and and without that self actualization, um, actualization, uh, people don't have the ability to um, to grow and to cooperate with others. They also believe that religion is not the answer; it is the problem, um, and. Um, that is not. Um, that is that is not uh, helpful. The, that the religions are not helpful. I I read to you um, that quote about um, having the 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 um, the world that the um, the history that all of the religions uh, created out throughout history. Uh, and, uh, and, and that isn't a good thing in, in their minds, that, 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 that the, the, the church 
those who are people of faith corrupt the world. They don't help the world. Um, so um, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to play a video. Uh, I'm just going to pause this. Okay, so the, the next one is um, uh, good. What hope do I have? Um, and humanity is our only hope because there's nothing outside of humanity. There's nothing outside of the physical world. Um, so, oh, by the way, I think I, I think I said this, but I want to make sure. So, um, part of the answer of why is there such a mess in the world for uh, the atheist, for the naturalist, is religion. We are the problem. We're, we, we aren't the answer. We are the problem. Our beliefs are the problem. Now, has monstrous evil been done in the name of God? Absolutely. Absolutely. But, at, but, but, but monstrous evil has been done by those who are naturalists and humanists. The reason that monstrous stuff, stuff has been done is not because our faith isn't wrong or isn't right. It's because we're not right. It's because we're messed up that we do those things. So, uh, but they believe that humanity is our only hope because it can't come from anywhere else. Um, and so the pursuit of knowledge, the, the, the pursuit of human progress will eventually bring out the utopian world that we want. Even though it never has. Uh, but they can still keep believing. Don't stop. Okay, now the now the video. So, what did you see uh, there or hear in that that uh, that is from a uh, a naturalist, a humanist viewpoint? Yes. Like when he was saying that there was no countries and no religion, therefore we have nothing to fight over or fight for. So we'd get rid of all the wars if we had no religion <clears throat> and, and no countries. Basically, it's like, imagine like, if, it's basically saying that if we didn't have all that we have, <clears throat> the world would be more at peace and people would truly be good. Yes. They said, like, at the very beginning, no heaven, no hell. Like, everyone's just living for today. Like, there's yeah. nothing else to worry about. Yeah, so there's nothing beyond us. Yeah. There's there's just natural world. Yes. Yeah, I was kind of going to say the same thing. Like, everyone dies anyway. So, like, I'm just like, what we got, so it doesn't really matter. And it isn't, it isn't just the religion that's the problem. The concept of religion is is the problem. According <coughs> according to uh, new naturalism, uh, humanism. Um, and anything else from that? Anything else from that? And it talked about a brotherhood of man and, and then we can make everything right. But we can't. We're making pretty rotten sinners deserving hell. Yes. It honestly sounds kind of bleak because he's taking away everything that, like, people put meaning into. So like mm -hmm. religion is our main reason. Reason so you take that away and then you're like, okay, well if we didn't have religion, I guess like people are patriotic by country and you must take that away and you'll, your possessions. And I'm like, so then what are you even here for? Like he's like, it's all peaceful. I'm like, yes, but at the same time you have no purpose. You're right. just there. It's that just doesn't make Yeah, it's like it's, it's almost like you know how Buddhists believe that you just like become one with God and you're just right. kinda of chilling. It seems kinda of like that. But that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> right. Yes. Physically, our worst plot is like our religion or misunderstandings. Our beliefs. Yeah. Anyways, I, guess I would say more start. There might be a religious component, but I believe it's more over territory than it is. Yeah, that makes more sense. Sometimes it is beliefs. Wars in the Middle East. Right, but Russia and Ukraine and the Philippines. And yeah, I mean, there, it, there definitely is. Yeah. There was the Inquisition, and there was, you know, the, the Crusades. Yes. Um, but in like World War One, that was over an assassination. Right. I. I. But I, I. That's a. That's a common thing that people say that more. More wars have been, great waged over, religion than, 
other things, but I'm not sure that that's actually true. There, there have been holy wars, right? I'm um, sure it's a factor. But, but then the other part of that is I believe that they, they claimed to have whatever that faith is, whether that's Christianity or Islam or whatever, Judaism, whatever. But they obviously, they've misinterpreted something because that, you know, God's, uh, they're, they're using God and I'm not sure he's on board with what they're doing. Um, okay, so we're going to try and finish this up uh, in the time that we have left. Uh, and I left my... Okay, so um, uh, here's a list of, um, uh, well, I, I, I didn't finish this. So, so is there any hope? Humanity is the only hope. Uh, the pursuit of knowledge and human progress brings about uh, utopia at some point. Um, and then what is my purpose in life? It's to... Um, to uh, pursue mutual agreement and cooperation uh, with other people and, and, um, and seek knowledge, uh, the knowledge necessary to fix whatever is wrong uh, in the world and work toward that utopia that they believe uh, can be done. Yes? When you do, you also have to take away knowledge because knowledge can raise argument. That's true. Uh, yeah, they probably try to manage that the best they they can. I'm gonna I'm gonna read uh, some names of um, well known over the years, well known um, atheists, and and I'm going to uh, talk about a couple of them as we go. Uh, so Socrates, going way back, right? Voltaire. Thomas Paine, David Hume, we talked about him last year, Karl Marx, of course, Charles Darwin, Mark Twain, Salman Rushdie, the author of The Satanic Verses. I know you don't know who that is. That's back in my day, like when I was your age. Uh, Margaret Sanger. Does everybody know who Margaret Sanger was? She was the person who started Planned Parenthood. Oh, yeah. And she did that because she was racist. Mm -hmm. Because it started. Okay, because she didn't want... African American babies being born. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so Albert Einstein, Carl Rogers, who was a, a a psychologist, Abraham Maslow, who was a teacher, a teaching guru. He was very high up in uh, in in um, American education. Bertrand Russell, Betty Friedan, Gloria Steinem. Uh, and, and a number of others. Um, uh, and and uh, I want to go back to Margaret Sanger because it was her humanist worldview that affected her outlook on human beings. Um, so I'm going to uh, stop there and give you a, uh, a clip, and tomorrow we'll pick up uh, with uh, postmodernism. And it only gets more.